we decided to have a puppy, we decided to have a dog, uh, just to cheer up our uh, one and a half year old and uh, make his life a little bit more happier in this uh, COVID times when we cannot really socialize properly and he cannot properly socialize with his peers. So we decided let, let's uh, get him a dog, even though we have two cats and Gora cats already. So we decided um, let's get a dog because dogs are more like friends cats uh, they are more to themselves and they are more i should say selfish but uh, dogs can be um, really friendly and can be very good friends for kids so i decided let's get him a dog um, so we decided to go for Mortipu because um, I really like Mortis and actually we were initially searching for Mortis. I didn't even know that Mortipu exists. And uh, by accident we just bumped into this this breed and uh, we done some, some reading of uh, on what kind of dogs and puppies uh, they are and we really loved it. And afterwards when we started uh, looking for actual particular puppy to get uh, to get um, uh, of this breed, we we liked um, we liked one with um, uh, kind of not straight and not curly hair. It's it's somewhere in the middle because uh, obviously multiple it's mix of Maltese and Poodle, so Poodle has very curly hair and Maltese has straight hair. So uh, so obviously when when you mix them, it, it can be uh, three different scenarios. What kind of uh, what kind of hair they can have? So. Uh, we went for a uh, kind of like a wavy type of uh, wavy type of um, uh, of hair, and uh, on top of that, uh, it has very nice color, like a peachy, light peachy color. So we fell in love with this dog, and uh, we decided to get him. So now our dog is uh, one week away uh, from. Uh, from the moment uh, when he will be delivered to us and um, so we went to do a big big first time shopping and you know you feeling very overwhelmed in, in the big shops for pets because uh, when it's your first experience with puppy you just don't really know what to buy even though we've done uh, lo uh, lots of search and uh, we, we had a whole list of uh, things that are a uh, first necessity for uh, for this breed uh, you still feel an overwhelm so uh, I wanted to share with you what we got and uh, afterwards I will give you a feedback what actually uh, was used well and uh, if you if you need to really get it or if there is necessity for that or maybe dog doesn't like it so we just um, tell you about um, about each uh, each item that we purchased and uh, and hopefully it will save you lots of time and uh, and and you know wandering through different uh, videos and contents just trying to uh, trying to find what you what you want to buy so first of all you can see i got so many different toys like i got this uh, little uh, bite in chewing thing because a breeder told us that uh, they like to buy it, things and uh, uh, also we were, we were trying to find some uh, small things that uh, can actually fit in their mouth. I'm not sure 100% about this one but we just decided to take, it, to take it because it's a little bit different. So I got this uh, little bird that makes squeaky sound because we were told that they like, uh, like things that, that make squeaky sound. We got a ball that the, uh, our uh, Teddy, we got <laughs> his name is Teddy already. So uh, the Teddy can chew little, uh, little soft toys that also make sounds because they like to, they like to chew basically and uh, have some response and some other uh, type of ball that also can, um, also can be chewed very easily. So to help them to massage their gums. So what I got here, it's a very small color. Uh, the brand is uh, the brand is Trixie, and um, we like this brand because uh, it's in very light and very easy to uh, to assemble on dog snacks. So basically, you can just just uh, just press it here and open easily. So this makes life easier. 
when it, you can actually uh, when you need to wear it on a dog and also i had a poodle before i had uh, i had tiny poodle when i was a child so i know that they need really a uh, really light uh, a re real light one otherwise it's uh, too heavy on their necks so we went for really a uh, really tiny one in addition to collar uh, we got this harness and actually um what they recommend for small dogs to have collar just for the uh, just uh, to put their name tag on it and to use harness to actually um, uh, to actually link it uh, with your leash because uh, small dogs have very uh, petite structure they have very uh, very big bones and their neck as well is very weak so if you will use collar uh, to attach the leash uh, you might by accident just uh, just uh, you know the uh, injure their neck because uh, when you will try to pull the dog to yourself uh, you don't know uh, anything can happen because they have very big bones you can just basically hurt them or injure them so that's why they recommend to use harness why we went for this brand also Trixie because uh, you can uh, open it up very easily and it's a uh, very light uh, 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 very light uh, if you will feel it also uh, I went for um, uh, extra small um, uh, size because obviously dog is very small and uh, our dog is gonna be uh, um, he is three months old now, so he he's really tiny. So I hope that uh, uh, it will not be big on him. This uh, this uh, uh, harness. Okay, uh, leash. To tell the truth, um, I decided to have this type of leash when when it's uh, when it can adjust on its own because. Uh, um, I really like this type of the leash. You don't need to. You don't have a headache with pulling your dog and rolling the other leash on, like uh, rolling the leash on your on your wrist or something. You can just uh, just simply uh, press the the button here and it it will just uh, roll inside uh, by itself. So it really makes your life easier. And I really like the the holder of it. So you can just it just makes your life easier and. Uh, your walks as well so that's what we got we also got tiny tiny labels just to treat our what you think oh yeah just to treat our teddy so we got tiny tiny label with his name written there teddy i'm not sure if you can see it and our number on the back so it's really nice nice touch i like that in the shop so i decided to go for, for it as well okay uh, one of the uh, important things to get is the brush because uh, their hair is very wavy and also obviously be ready to groom them very often on a regular basis because uh, hair is very light it's very easy to uh, you know to mix up and um, get knocks and uh, just you need to try to make a habit to brush a dog on a regular basis every day these few times a day because especially if you like if you like him to grow the hair so you need to make sure that you uh, that you taking care of it uh, in a very good manner also they uh, they suggest uh, that um, you give bath to the dog um, once twice a month that's your choice uh, and uh, you can imagine when it's uh, their their hair is very light color obviously uh, all dirt and uh, and dust will be settling in and uh, it's a reflect on the color of their of their hair so um so just to give uh, give habit to the dog to take a bath because it's also very important on top of that uh, uh, from the uh, from the same from the same side of cleaning devices uh, and cleaning uh, tools for your dog is uh, eye wipes eye wipes uh, why do we need eye wipes and um, you know dogs uh, getting their eyes um, uh, teary and there always some kind of mucus coming coming out and uh, 
when dog has dark uh, dark hair it's not as evident in comparison with those dogs uh, that have very light light hair so uh, uh, this type of wise is helping you to to clean the area around their eyes to clean the area um, uh, uh, on their face and actually when they eat in you will see it's also coloring their hair so um, if you will not wipe it on a regular basis believe me their hair will become very dirty uh, within few weeks and uh, afterwards it's very difficult to, to get rid of that dirt so make sure that you that you make a habit to wipe their face eyes and, and face and after if you like to use this wipes on their on their the rest of their body uh, on a regular basis because it's really important uh, don't underestimate how quick the dirt uh, will actually uh, spread on their uh, on their hair on their face and um, you cannot believe how difficult it is afterwards to clean it it's almost impossible so better do it straight away while it's still fresh I cannot say that uh, the wipes are gonna clean it perfectly 100%. No, they're not gonna clean it 100% uh, clean. It's not happening. There's still always some kind of kind of like a shade it, uh, remains, so you cannot you cannot remove it. That is, that's how strong that uh, that uh, you know coloring effect of uh, of uh, of their tears and mucus that coming out of their eyes. So um, make sure that you do make this habit. Also, uh, don't forget about toothpaste and toothbrush. I know it's hard enough to um, <laughs> to to teach your child and to force your child to clean their teeth, and now you need to do the same thing with the dog. So um, make sure you don't want to have problems, dental problems, uh, with your dog, and uh, you know spend extra money or just. Uh, uh, you know fixing their cavities and um, so make sure that you uh, also get a toothpaste and toothbrush and make that effort and uh, actually take care um, of their teeth uh, don't underestimate this um, okay let's get to the food side to the food section so I have here uh, wet food royal canine I have uh, dry food uh, royal canine make sure that you select one for puppies also they uh, don't recommend to give chicken uh, and focus more on um, uh, on lamb uh, on lamb and fish and um, because chicken might be pumped up with different uh, different all kind of things so uh, for this breed can have uh, some allergies so they also recommend to to get some a uh, hypoallergenic food so we couldn't find it in our shop so we just got normal puppy food for extra small size dogs but what we found uh, we found um, this kind of uh, zv uh, this kind of uh, diet food for uh, for pets uh, it's actually like three times more expensive in comparison with royal canin but it's uh, it's organic new zealand uh, lamb uh, so uh, it should be fine for him just in case he doesn't like royal canin or in case he has some some allergy obviously we, we're gonna see this dog first time and we're gonna and we're gonna try to care, take care of him uh, for the first time so uh, we need to uh, we need to support every angle and make sure that uh, we can uh, give him something that he will like and he will not have any reaction on that also we got some uh, tuna fish treats and we got some uh, you know uh, Livy's kitchen um, uh, duck uh, duck pieces so dog can enjoy also we got some um, nutrient um, uh, chewy, uh, little chewy sticks uh, uh, shaped like uh, shaped like tooth uh, toothbrush, so I uh, can also chew it and uh, uh, clean their teeth. So that's uh, one more one more way for for the dog to clean their teeth, to chew uh, hard things. Uh, so make sure that you focus on those uh, on those kind of trees. Also, what we got is. Uh, is a toilet pad so it's 
it's like a big tissue that you spread on the on the floor and a dog can actually take a piece there um, I'm going to train I'm planning to train the dog um, when to go to it and how to go to it and I will share with you uh, videos in the future about that but this training part uh, also can help you to um, to help dog at the beginning while he's a puppy uh, and he might he might uh, have an urgency to go every uh, two three hours to the toilet so uh, those uh, parts will help you to train him and help you to clean uh, to keep your house clean so uh, how are we going to arrange uh, his place this is another section of this video and um, obviously he will have his um, uh, crate uh, he's coming already in crate so we didn't buy that uh, what what we did buy we got this um, we got this uh, little um, we got this little pan for him play pan for him that you can, uh, that you can uh, assemble uh, in your house so it's like a little cage that has two doors i will show you when we open it uh, i will show you a little bit later in one of my next videos so it basically has two doors and uh, one can be open to the crate so it will lead to the crate where you can also put uh, we got this nice pillow for him but you can also put a nice sleeping pillow for him uh, and it will be his cozy spot and on the other side uh, actually inside this uh, inside this um, uh, a little pan you can put a, uh, a, a tissue a toilet tissue for him uh, so a toilet part for him so uh, so basically when you're not at home and dog is still young and not trained properly uh, you can just lock him inside this pan and he will have his cozy place on one side and his toilet on the other side so it's kind of will will help you to monitor uh, uh, where he's going to the toilet and and uh, to make sure that he's not uh, you know um, fooling around and taking peace on every corner because this can be the case with small dogs and with any dogs basically they're trying to uh, they 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 will uh, they will take a piece in a in, in some in a cozy corner so in with this pan that has two entrances uh, you can actually monitor and you can actually train him to to go to the toilet on on the pan uh, to, to the pad sorry uh, inside his uh, plain uh, plain pan so uh, that's when you're not at home obviously i will try to train him to go to the toilet outside i will be taking him for walks uh, three times a day at the beginning and after i'm going to shift to uh, to twice a day uh, to twice a day my parents have dog uh, and uh, that's how they started and uh, they have a big dog that's why they didn't go for um <laughs> for pods and uh, training pants because it's uh, it just they they uh, uh, they needed a, they they would have needed a very big one size so it's it's not that easy with big dogs in comparison with small ones so uh, but they started with uh, taking him a three a three times a day at the beginning and after they taken him in the morning and in the evening and uh, that's how his feeding also linked to to the, to the toilet time so uh, uh, 20 minutes before uh, before they take him for walks they feed him so uh, then dog uh, has an urgency to go to the toilet and he does his business outside so that's what i'm going to do as well also one more uh, one more thing that uh, that i will do uh, with with the dog it's um and i recommend you to do the same thing don't leave the food just standing there for uh, as long as uh, as i want uh, you need to put food for five minutes and if dog didn't finish it uh, take the food away so then uh, it will organize the dog and he will uh, and his body will get adjusted to um, uh, to, uh, to to go to the toilet in certain times and also it will train him that uh, that uh, if you don't eat now the food is not going to be just standing there for the rest of the day so don't leave just streets uh, on top of that dogs uh, they um, they have this um, 
they're different to the cats. If for, if for example, we can leave Futaba and Gora cats for two for for, uh, for two cats for, for it's it's there all the time. And if they want it, they eat it. If they don't want, they don't eat it. This dog is a little bit different. Uh, dogs, uh, uh, even they are fools, they might still eat, and they they might always eat. So then you're gonna end up with with your dog being sick. Anyway, this is short about this and about uh, how we're gonna organize his space. One thing, last thing is that I want you to not forget to buy because you're gonna regret about that very much. This is the uh, the uh, sprays that will help you to protect your shoes and that will help you to protect if you like your leather chair or anything you worry about because even though uh, this tiny dogs is breathe they cannot chew uh, any big items but um, be aware that you can really chew your bags and you don't want that if you like expensive bags uh, the same as I do so I don't want my my um, my, my bags being chewed and uh, I won't be happy if this dog will eat my shoes neither so don't forget about this little uh, little helper here just to make sure that your uh, your things are protected Alright, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I will put up a list of all items I got uh, uh, at the end of this video uh, right now and uh, I will split them into groups. I will split them into a few groups uh, just to help you to organize them a little bit because it looks very messy on my table. And uh, I hope this video will save you time and uh, it will help you to select correct items, uh, items that your dog, um, uh, that, uh, that are necessary for your dog. Because believe me, your first shopping uh, can be quite expensive. So be ready to spend at least uh, three, four hundred dollars just for initial shopping because those things aren't cheap so i hope that this video will save you time and your money and uh, and will help you to select um, items that are uh, really needed for for your dog all right and uh, see you in my next video um, where we will be meeting Teddy and welcoming Teddy for the first time in our house. I'm really excited about that. Bye!